how do you write a scientific paper from consider you got all the data so data is ready now you want to start and write that how do you do that do you have any specific start that you can share with us yeah well there's some really specific things that i do uh, but the the big picture um, that i often tell my group is that writing a science paper um, writing some type of engineering paper this is really telling a story uh, about the type of work that you've done and people who are reading it even though it is a scientific report um, they're looking uh, for a story where they can see a beginning, a middle, and an end. They can see a hypothesis. They can see how you evaluate it, how you checked all of your assumptions, how you reached this climax of where you may have solved this issue or maybe not. Uh, and then you get to the conclusions where you, you show uh, what those future types of projects could be. Um, so I would say uh, read the types of things that, that you're writing as a story. Uh, see if it's compelling. See if someone else would want to read it, even if they're outside your field, that they would really feel hooked into that story um, as they're, they're reading it. Um, but the basic strategy that I have for you know, actually putting it together, um, start with the figures, mm -hmm. put those figures together uh, in order um, of the way you'd expect to tell the story, and then start to write in bullet points for what that story is going to look like, and then fill in the paragraphs. But definitely think about what that story will look like, even before doing the experiments, Start with a good hypothesis. Um, start with some type of discovery-driven approach. Uh, and when you're following that type of path, those figures eventually, they almost make themselves. And then you see the entire process in front of you before you start writing. You get to see what the figures, what the tables look like, uh, and then fill in those gaps uh, as you're preparing the manuscript. Good, thank you so much. Go to lots of conferences. Your advice to the grad and undergrad students when they go there, what they should look for and how they should manage their time? Yeah, good question too. It depends a little bit on the conference and what the goals are for it. So if you're going to the AICHE national meeting and you're applying for jobs, that's very different than going to an ACS meeting to see you know, exciting talks. Um, but I would say um, planning uh, is really important. The schedules are always published ahead of time. Uh, and what rarely happens is that people will go through and look at that schedule and plan out their itinerary. Um, so I would say that's probably the best thing you can do when you're looking to gain something from a conference is go through that conference book, look at the different talks that you want to go to, identify the names of people that you want to meet, that you want to see, the extra events that are going on, and create a schedule. Um, that way, you know, you can modify it um, as you go, but then you, you have an idea of what's coming next, the types of things you can plan for. And at the very end, you can go back and look at the schedule you created and see if you learned the things you wanted to know if you met the people that you needed to meet uh, and just see if you've been able to check off those boxes. So preparation is, is really important when it comes to actually getting a lot out of a conference, which can often be just disorganized and gigantic and confusing. So definitely prepare uh, and, and come, in, come in with a game plan.